Okay, here it is uh, on a Tuesday in June, getting pretty warm, but uh, more importantly, I'm making progress on this MGTF. So uh, here's the shot from the rear, and I'll uh, go to the front. Here's the view from the front. As you can see, the front suspension is complete, except for the uh, wheels and tires. And the transmission is uh, actually mounted. It's locked up right now to keep it from falling forward. And there's been a fair number of modifications to the firewall. This firewall was really beat up and rusty, as does the whole car. And what I did was I added this box right here to the front of the tool box, which is here so that I could mount my hydraulics in here. This is the view from inside the cockpit. There's the steering mount. And you can see I made a, a cradle or a bracket to mount my hydraulic uh, cylinders to. And I also made a uh, plywood firewall which has aluminum on the front and I sealed it with uh, heating and uh, cooling duct tape and that's my uh, MGB overdrive transmission and I've been working on assembling the wood frame because the wood frame that came with the car pretty much just fell apart when I removed the uh, sheet metal body from the frame Another one of the items that did not come with this car when I bought it was a transmission tunnel. So, I've spent, I don't know how many hours, maybe 10, 12 hours fabricating a transmission tunnel for this car. And right now, it is made out of mat board, hot glued together. And my plan is that uh, I will then put uh, fiberglass woven fiberglass mat material on this mat board and then that'll be my transmission tunnel and I think that should be adequate because transmission tunnels aren't done for this car aren't structural really and what I've been working on here the last uh, week or so is the transmission tunnel and the floors and the firewall so uh, we'll do some close-ups and I'll try to explain what's going on. This is my transmission tunnel, which I fabricated out of matte board, hot glued together, and then I put fiberglass cloth and polyester resin. And then the floors are made out of uh, one half inch shop birch. One of the things I had to do is add this rail with some support for the floorboard uh, as I didn't get them with this car. I didn't get a lot of things with this car. Uh, so basically this is three quarter inch uh, angle iron. I got it at Orchard Supply Hardware and uh, using my uh, nice uh, MIG welder I was able to first make the measurements, cut, just cut the rail on the top and bend it to the right angle and then basically I filleted this in with some weld and uh, made a little bracket here and welded this in. Uh, afterwards I drilled all my holes in uh, the wood floorboard where I wanted them to be and carried those drilled holes through the rail and then I took a tap and tapped these for, uh, in this case, these are metric. I know most of you have done this before, but I thought I'd do just a little demonstration about how I finished off this transmission tunnel. Uh, as I mentioned uh, previously, it was made completely out of pieces of mat board, which you can buy at, at uh, almost any art supply, and a hot glue gun, well you can get that just about anywhere as well. Uh, so basically I cut my pieces and just sort of started at the front and worked my way to the back, fitting it around the transmission and to the firewall. Uh, and made some flanges so that I can screw through into the firewall and along the floors uh, to mount this tunnel. Now, I opted for this option because 
It's a, it's a material that's very easy to work with. If you make a mistake, it's easy enough to cut another piece of uh, uh, mat board. And then uh, if, you, if you glue it wrong, it's easy to take your knife, exacto blade or whatever, and just cut it out and redo it. Uh, and then you do it until you get it, uh, the right look. I did some chamfered edges on here to make it a little cleaner. You don't need to do that. It could be nice and square. Uh, I've seen three or four other cars that have had the same sort of modification done. And they've done them any number of ways. Uh, some guys have done them in metal. Um, I just don't have uh, a metal brake or a metal shear to make nice, clean, long cuts or anything. So I went with this option because I know how to do it. Uh, this, is this is woven fiberglass cloth. It's not the heaviest one, it's kind of an intermediate one. Uh, there's actually two layers on this. And then this is your, this is in this case, this is a Bondo brand, but it's fiber, it's called fiberglass resin. It's a polyester resin. It's a two part product. product. Uh, there's the resin itself, and then there's a catalyzer or uh, the uh, hardener. And then you mix it up according to the directions. And then, you know, you have it in a cup and you just brush it on and sets up in about 20 minutes, depending on the temperature of the day. I did this on a hot day, so my open time in my cup was only about 10 minutes, so I had to work relatively fast. Anyhow, that's how I did it, and uh, in the earlier shot when I showed the raw, just the mat board, there was a gray circle here. Uh, I decided for my mount, uh, for my uh, gator, which exclude, air excluder, I guess you would call it, for the gear shift that comes out of here. I just took a piece of aluminum and uh, went ahead and stuck it right in there, and it's glued in with the same polyester resin, and that gives me a place to for mounting my screws, which will hold the nice chrome uh, finisher ring on there. Uh, I, I also use some Bondo. Uh, not Bondo brand, but the type of product, which is a plastic filler product, to make this a little smoother, uh, to get rid of some of that uh, texture. Because when you do this, it gets pretty rough looking. So anyhow, I got it to a state where I think it's good enough. And uh, since this won't be actually seen in the car, it'll have carpet over it or some sort of material over it. Uh, and it triumphs of the same era had uh, cardboard transmission tunnels that weren't coated with anything, so, and they lasted for 20 years. That's my update for June 21st, 2011.